I'm the Saiyan who came all the way from Earth for the sole purpose of beating you. I am the warrior you've heard of in legends, pure of heart and awakened by fury. That's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! The truth is, I ain't no hero of justice or anything else like that. But anyone who tries to hurt my friends is gonna pay! You want to know what your big mistake was, Black? What mistake? It's that stolen body! Every muscle, every cell! His body was built from a lifetime of intense battles! But you took it! It's all second hand! You feel the power in those Saiyan cells, but you don't truly understand it! Because you didn't build it! And you'll never learn to think like that clown! There'll be such a huge power gap between us. <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> You're an interloper, a Saiyan imposter. And I'm the real thing. The almighty Prince Vegeta! Trunks, you show him. Father! Zamasu, here's some free advice. Don't underestimate mortals, and especially not a Saiyan. Gallic! Come on, Trunks, give it all you've got! Sure thing! This is the power of Forty-eight minutes. That's all we were given for this tournament of power. Yet in that brief time span, we Saiyan warriors have shattered our limits, time after time. You've seen it with your own eyes, Destroyer. Come on, Kakarot! Find a way! I entrusted everything to you! My pride, my promise, everything! I won't tolerate failure! Trespass into the domain of the gods and use that might to conquer Jiren! Do it, Kakarot!
I am Samurai. Samurai Negro Shogun, Etrak Brown. This is P.W. Hustle. We are going to react to Shogun. And you will not be coward. You will like, you will comment, and you will subscribe. You will also donate to channel, as well as Cash App. Because I do this for you. And I do this for my honor. What is going on, y'all? So, of course, I'm here to react to Shogun. Finally. Finally, I'm getting this done. Um, I shouldn't say finally, because Shogun just started. You know, but I'm going to react to Blue Eye Samurai as well. So, I had to get my getup on. You know, I wanted to make sure I was dressed for the part. Wearing the Dragon Ball Z shirt. Akira Toriyama has passed away. Which has made me officially done with 2024. All right. Um, I was already mad when um, Carl Weathers passed away. You know, high magistrate cargo. But we lose Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z. And for me, I'm just wondering what else, ha what happens now with Dragon Ball Z. You know, um,. Where do, where do we go from here? Uh, only thing I know is that his sons might take over. I think a friend of mine had told me that. So, shout out to you, Paulie, for letting me know. <coughs> but, you know, uh, I hope that's true. I don't know how true it is, but that's what he told me. So, um, for most people, well, I can't say for most people, but for, for, for everyone I know, you know, what got them into anime was Dragon Ball Z. What got me into anime was Dragon Ball Z. You know, that was that was it. That was... Well, to be honest, what got me into anime was Voltron. That was the first one. Voltron was was, was the first, I could say, the first Japanese anime that I, that I watched as a, as a kid. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I got a little cold. It was raining the other day, so it kind of messed me up a bit. But anyway, uh, Voltron was what got me into Japanese anime. If it wasn't for Voltron, I probably wouldn't have been a Dragon Ball Z fan uh, because I probably wouldn't have gave it the time of day. But, you know, of course, you know, it's, it's fond memories of that show. But there's an elephant to address in the room. There's also some bad memories to address. Akira Tor Toriyama did not draw us as in black people very well okay i'm not sitting here saying cancel them or anything like that i'm just saying that there were examples of some racism in his drawings that really bothered me and almost made me stop watching um not mr popo mr popo i've always said to people was not supposed to be a black character i thought that he was like uh, 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 an embodiment of uh, of of Buddha. That's what I always thought it was. Um, but that wasn't the case, actually. I just found out yesterday. I was yesterday years old when I found out that Mr. Popo was the, the Hindu, like one of the Hindu gods or prophets or whatever, excuse me, to, if I'm not saying it right to people who are Hindu. But he was a representation of that. But it wasn't really Mr. Popo that bothered me. It was uh, characters like Killer, who would talk like you were watching a freaking Fat Albert episode. They drew, he would draw him with the big ass minstrel lips. And there was another character, uh, another black character who he drew like that. And that didn't sit well with me. It, it didn't. There's a lot of black people that didn't sit well with. And I, I'm just saying, you can't ignore that. I'm not saying, you know, let's ruin his legacy. I'm not. But I, I cannot be honest and, you know, not mention that, you know, when it comes to when it comes to Dragon Ball. But I will just say this. Overall, I enjoy Dragon Ball, man. And, uh, you know, the... the, the I, I got to be real. It, it took me a while. To get, I, even though I watched Dragon Ball... I wasn't a fan of the early stuff, you know, not, not, not a big fan. The, you know, when, when Goku versus King Piccolo, it was cool, but 
<coughs> excuse me, I really got into Dragon Ball when he when he got older. When the Cell Saga started, that was when I really got into Dragon Ball. When Vegeta came in, that was when I really got into Dragon Ball. And then you know, Dragon Ball Z would Dragon Ball Z would advance to Dragon Ball and the Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT, um, which I find kind of funny because. You know, when I was watching Dragon Ball GT, I wasn't like, you know, in tune with the fans like that. I had no idea people hated it. It didn't bother me. Dragon Ball GT did not bother me at all. I I understood where they were going with it. I, I got what happened. They turned into kids. Okay, fine. Um, as I watched it, I enjoyed it. I, it, it. But then I would read, you know, online stuff and talk to fans, and I didn't know that that Dragon Ball GT was universally hated. I had no idea. Um, but then what really, what, to me, it, Dragon Ball took off when Dragon Ball Super came out, you know? Uh, from, even 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 the original Broly, I think it was, it was like 1990, was that the 90s? When the original Broly saga, the original Broly movie came out? Because I know they remade it. Which was fine. I still dug the original better, but when Dragon Ball Super came out with with with, Go, with the Goku Black Saga and the Tournament of Power, I, to this day I still watch the Tournament of Power. I wish I might add the Tournament of Power to some nostalgic reactions. I'm not sure, but I loved the Tournament of Power. I loved Jiren. You know, I have a friend of mine. We go back and forth. With a, he, he he wasn't a big fan of it. I speak to a lot of people, and they was like, oh, it sucked, the power scaling, this, that, and the third. I'm like, I don't give a shit about all of that. Because at the end of the day, when we watching Dragon Ball Z, you know, he's like, well, wasn't enough training episodes. I'm like, I don't want to sit through all of that. Did you see the tournament of power? Did you see how long that shit was? Are you telling me you wanted to see even more episodes? We don't need to see the training episodes. Just mention that you're training. That's it. I, I don't need to see all of that shit. But the Tournament of Power, to me, was on point. You know, Goku, the Goku Black Saga, Zamazu Saga, was, was, was fantastic. And the, the greatest moment for me as a Dragon Ball fan was watching Vegeta finally fight with his son Trunks. And seeing that Vegeta and Trunks were one. And, 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 and seeing how Vegeta was proud of his kid. The evolution of Vegeta, to me, was one of the greatest character developments in animation, anime history. That, that's just my opinion. We all love Vegeta. You know, we can all, we, can, we also know that, you know, Vegeta talks shit and gets his ass whooped, this, that, and the third. You know, he's second best to Goku. But we all love Vegeta. And then there was a Dragon Ball superhero movie. And I said, what the hell is this garbage? I did not like that at all. I, I was like, yo, they have to redo this or something. Because this, I mean, I like the end. I like the evolution of Piccolo. And I saw, I liked where they went with Gohan's thing. Because that's why we were watching. I was also, like, I wasn't expecting, you know, spoiler if you haven't seen it. I wasn't expecting Vegeta and Goku not to be in it like that. So that was a little bit disappointing. But uh, we did see, you know, Vegeta actually beat Goku uh, somewhat. You know, and then there's the the uh, return of Frieza, which pissed me off because of the ending. You thought Vegeta was gonna get the victory, and then they kind of cheapened it with what they did at the end when they reversed time and shit. I didn't. I'm like, yo, why, why? And it was brought to my attention by by somebody that uh, Toriyama was not is not the real is not a big fan of his own creation of Vegeta like that, which I found disappointing. And so I understood, you know, well, Vegeta's always going to play second fiddle. So I was so hyped after the Tournament of Power that I wanted more. So then I started reading the manga, and then the whole Moro, the Moro saga happened, and the evolution of Vegeta continued when Vegeta was, was going to learn instant transmission and whatnot. And his power went, level went up. And I was like, yo, I cannot wait to see this. And then what did they debut? Some shit where they're going back to kids. It was like Dragon Ball. Now, I, I, it was like Dragon Ball GT. I don't know where they're going with this shit. I don't know. But I wanted to see Moro. Then I started watching this other thing. I don't know what the hell. I, don't, I have no idea what I'm watching right now. I haven't finished it. Last time I saw it, it was Vegeta and Jiren. I mean, it was Goku and Jiren. 
versus some dude named Hearts. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that's fan made. You guys know me. I don't dwell and dig into things too much when I'm watching stuff because I just like going in fresh, you know? So I don't know what that is I'm watching. It's like Dragon Ball superheroes, but not superheroes the movie. It's I don't know what it is, but I, I have to finish watching it. It's It's been kind of cool. You know, because they're fighting this dude and, and he's going back to the universes and whatnot and gathering all these people. I can't remember everything. But anyway, the bottom line is Dragon Ball will always live forever. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. And now let's start the show. Oh, so this comes on FX. All right, creaky boat. <coughs> and again, I'm sick, so excuse me if I'm coughing a lot through the show. I'm sorry. The year is 1600. All right. For decades, Portuguese Catholics have richly profited from trade in Japan. They kept it. They kept his whereabouts hidden from their sworn enemies, the European purists. In Osaka, the reigning Tayuko has died, leaving behind heir to, heir too young to rule. Five warrior lords are now trapped in a bitter struggle. Let's go. And while this was going on, the Portuguese was also rounding up slaves. <laughs> Jesus, he looks like the king from freaking Lord of the Rings when he was possessed. We'll make land. <laughs> we'll make land. God damn English pilots. You never know where to give up. Hmm? We'll reach the Japans. Japan. We'll reach the Japans. That is the scurvy talking. We'll lay claim to that dark land. Then it's back to Holland. Rich, having gone round. We'll lay claim to that dark land. God damn it. <laughs> A crew of over 500. We are now barely a single vessel. At my age, you draw your line. So what exactly do you want him to do? Jump off the boat and kill himself? That would be a coward's way out. Erasmus remains home. Coward! I'm still looking to you. Looking to me for what? We cannot fulfill our mission. Don't you see there is nothing? All right. There you have it. Yeah, I was about to say, you need to kill him because he's, he's, he's being a bitch. That is the breath of the Almighty. He's mm. calling us. Listen. He's calling us home. Well, maybe trying to conquer other people's lands just isn't a good idea. Take our asses back to your dark ass continent, you know, where it's bleak as fuck and leave people alone. <laughs> Alright, who's this dude? You have a cross around his neck? Why would he have a cross around his neck? Oh shit. Oh yeah, they getting ready. They, oh, they, oh, we getting ready. We getting ready? We getting ready? This is what we doing? We getting ready? Let's go! No mercy! I don't know why I sound like Kale from Willow. I don't want to offend nobody with my Japanese accent. I'm going to speak with it anyway. Oh, somebody's alive in there. 
Looks like Bailey. Everybody's barely alive on that ship, looks like. Oh, he's trying to get away. Uh-uh, stop that. I'm surprised he didn't have the strength to push him back. What are they? They're invaders. Check to see if they're slaves on that ship. Chapter 1. Engine. Is this going to be all in Japanese? I'm not going to have to read subtitles throughout this whole thing. Did that bird just catch another bird? Yes, it did. Father. This is all going to be in Japanese. She's splendid. Truly. Conceal yourself against the sun. Conceal herself against the sun. Conserving energy. Waiting for her moment. What was that game I was just playing on PlayStation? The one with the samurai. Not Sicario, the other one. Welcome to the Osaka Castle. I'm surprised he actually came. They don't look like they happy. A wise man knows when his time has ended. Oh, okay. They're telling you you at the end, huh? Oh, and if you're wondering, you know, what happened with my pictures, they had to paint. <laughs> Uh, the freaking ceiling almost collapsed because there was a leak upstairs. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely reminding me of Ghost of Tsushima. Couldn't think of the name earlier, but that's what it is. Yeah, all right, Chief, you're a little bit too close to the penal area. <laughs> I would have just did that myself. <laughs> I hate Osaka. I hate Osaka. This place is cursed. <laughs> It's become a real shithole. They said shithole back then in 1600? Okay. In that case, let's be done with it. I need an English version of this. Well, English download, I should say. Welcome to Osaka. What the hell is in that thing? それが主は関東の領主で満足しておりますゆえ、この太平の世を自ら乱そうなどとは思いもよらぬこと。How strange. When just this morning, the heir mother was taken to your castle at Edo. No warning, no request. The lady Oshiba's sister, my daughter-in-law, is in labor. Uh-oh, somebody's getting mad. There's no more hostage in my castle. His dying wish was a peaceful sharing of power. Yes, until the heir come, his heir comes of age. And I look forward to that day. Meetings are exhausting. The council has voted to demand the lady's return. And the penalty, penalty of impeachment. What is with this nigga? Is he about to bust in his pants? Oh, 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 here we go. According to law. 
to call him a traitor is flimsy accusation. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Chakajoy, sit down. Put your sword back, nigga. Relax. Pai May would have killed all these niggas. You have seven days to release the air, and then we will vote on your fate. Forget the air, let's go to war. He's trying to punk you out, bro. I, 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 yeah, he's right. They gonna vote. Yep, he gonna kill. He gonna try to kill y'all. We breached it. Portico's secret empire in the east. Impossible. The orders are still on. What part of this is still on? All I know is we had Spanish ships to the south and north of us out of Santa Maria. We've endured pestilence, known starvation. We've chewed the calfskin, covers the ropes. We should be corpses by now. But here we are. This is not where we die. I hope not. <laughs> be a shitty way to go. Fuji. Fuji, this has gone far enough. Stay back. It's our Lord. Hand us on. I won't do it. Oh, she's hot. Let me not say that. She might be young. <laughs> I am your husband, and this is the granddaughter of Toto Hiyomasu. All right, good, because you don't want that blood all over that baby. It seems like he's crying. He's like, yo, I wanted her to do it, yo. What you doing? <laughs> it's a large clan. Your uncle never set foot in this village before. Not even when your father died. Alright, so which one of these white boys is going to end up being a white samurai? Because you know that's where they're going with this. Worthless cowards. Cowards! Hello there. They don't speak Japanese, nigga. The leader of these men. My name is John Blackthorne, and I would very much like to speak to you. Look out! No, 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 no! Don't fight them! <laughs> Stop resisting! No, no violence! Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's you ain't have no wins, bro. That's stupid to do. What the hell is that? Ooh. Now I will come up alone and speak for my men. You keep hold of him in case I don't come back. Well, you don't know who you're dealing with there, white boy. These are samurais. You know you fucking went on cell number four on the ninth floor? You're Christian. You speak Portuguese. That's not Portuguese he's speaking, it's English. I ask for my men to be freed. Not possible. I beg you, in the name of decency. Prayers in Japan must be good. If this is how he treats guests, tell this poxy little bastard I piss on his whole damn country. Oh, oh, oh okay, that, yeah, that European arrogance ain't gonna get you nowhere, bro. I suggest you act like you got some goddamn sense. He about to piss on you. 
Oh damn, he R. Kelly in your ass. He said, I'm gonna give you some poo poo. I'm gonna give you some pee pee. I'm gonna give you some doo doo. I'm washing down some wee wee. This is the remix edition of a song about pissing. I got the pee and we can begin. Then there's juice in the kitchen. Oh, you definitely dying now, bro. If you piss on me, I'm killing you. I don't give a damn what happens. I don't care what happens to me or my men. You peed on me, nigga. So they are Christians. Okay. Oh, shit! Yo! Off with your head. Maybe don't do this. That's just a suggestion. He's the best priest you have. This barbarian? What a fascinating term of events. They're calling them the savages. I can get into this. <laughs> I'm English, pilot of the Erasmus, a Dutch merchant vessel. A Dutch merchant vessel, yeah, they was going to get slaves at one point. Okay. Which means I am the first English sailor to reach your Catholic treasury. And you have no intention of translating my words. He's not stupid. I beg your king for parley. Yeah. I humbly ask for safe passage. <laughs> they impounding your shit, bro. Friar Tuck over here ain't helping. I am not one of them! And I will not be spoken for by Catholics! Not in Europe and certainly not in this! <laughs> so what is, was he, was he a Christian? I don't have time for this Christian nonsense. Yeah, what a servant of God you are! Just kill a pirate! Yeah, that, that's very Christ-like! Are they nuns? I'm gonna have to look on my history because I had no idea Catholics got to Japan in that time period. I'll protect the air with my life. If you could stop. Why does this feel like Game of Thrones? The bloodlines, the freaking. Kings that are babies, or queens, or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Please! We're just merchants! Please! We're just merchants! They gonna burn these niggas alive? They gonna boil these niggas alive! What you boiling them for? You gonna eat them? Who said something about all, bitch? You cooking? She looks very nice. Like Geisha. Oh, damn. Holy shit. What are you looking at with your pervert? <gasps> with your pervert eyes. Don't be looking at my chick, nigga. <laughs> Let me look at my booty call. What, what, what's going on here? And I hope they're not related. Because this really is going to be like Game of Thrones. Oh! Titties! Okay! The geisha got some big ass titties. What's, what's going on here? Shall I stop? Nigga! You just gonna sit there and watch? And this was on FX? Oh, okay. Is she jerking him off? Yes, she is. And he's getting off on this shit. I'm surprised he's still alive. How what was the last time he ate? 
The barbarians took a long time to die. Well, that's what happens when you boil people. Like, that doesn't happen. They're not going to die instantly. Next time, deep fry them. I'm stronger than most Christians. Who's the bad guy here? Heard a man screaming last night. Sounded as though he was in terrible pain. This is very tight. No touching! Well, listen, if it's amenable to, uh, to either of you, I'd... So that's his father? I mean, so that's, his, that's dude's son, the dude who's in the other place. That's his son, and that's his brother. A ship's arrived. Hiromatsu, the honor be by coming to one of my villages. It was my understanding that you were loyal to our lord. Oh shit. Here we go. Once I go fling, that's it. <sighs> of course I am. Yeah, he ain't no fool. I go nowhere until I see my men. Forbidden. Is he the pilot? Anjinka. Who's this nigga? Lord Rodriguez. Was it? Okay, he's a Spaniard. One has been executed. I thought they killed all of them. I'm a Spaniard who sails for the Portuguese. I'm not your friend. Okay, look, this is the 1600s. Can I get a real Spaniard here? This nigga looks Dominican. Ah, maybe he's a Moorish descent. <laughs> How'd you get here anyway? Came by Magellan's Pass. He looks like Aaron from The Walking Dead. Captain General held us in Chile too long. I warned him the winds would die. He wouldn't listen. We're just merchants hoping to once again cast eyes on our coast of origin. <laughs> I like your English, I do. In fact, even we have a long night ahead of us, I think I shall allow you the honor of taking this watch. Come. This, how long is it going to take him to understand Japanese? Because I know he's going to end up learning. Perfect storm. The sea was angry that day, my friends. <laughs> like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. Save this life. God damn it! Into the swell! What? What are you still doing up here, you pirate dick? Please understand it yourself, the Portuguese. Please don't leave this. Give me my fire! They lose some people? Yes, they did. Wait a minute. Was that Rodriguez who went over the side? Find Rodriguez, because that's the clo that's the closest thing to the black guy you're going to have. And I don't want him to die first. Actually, he wasn't the one to die first. Just find Rodriguez. I'll bring him up. Me. Oh, I see. You can't turn down the challenge in front of your men, can you? Huh? He's learning. Savage. Maybe the fool will kill you before you drown. You know, dude, you can't be calling them savages. Your peoples literally took others as slaves. Fuck out of here. <laughs> they calling them barbarians. He's calling them savages. Oh, shit. Yeah. You dead. Sorry about your sack of shit, Lord. This back gotta be broke. Nope, no, it's not. <laughs> He, he fell quite a distance. And that nigga is still alive, too. Oh, shit. Are you serious? What the hell is he doing? What, what, he, I know he's not trying to kill himself. He is going to kill himself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Rope is there. There you go. I'm not sure if you're the real bad guy or not, but don't do that yet until I find out. Until I figure it out for sure. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, my God. 16 years. She is gorgeous. 
And so rarely have we spoken. Thank you for helping Lady Fuji through her grief the other day. She's an enemy of your faith. So she's Catholic? Your uh, it, it should. It's supposed to. Oh, okay. But I have more than one heart. That man was going to kill himself up on that cliff. He risked his life to save you. And then when he was done for in those waves, he didn't fight. Could have tried, but he just turned and drew his blade. He chose his death. What better end can a man hope for? Open trade in the new world. Which is why I'm warning you. He's going to the Portuguese as soon as I arrive. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Try it. I won't die in this wretched land. This wretched land. Mm. I tell you what, English. We're coming into port soon. What are you going up there? Come on. Uh, tell me what you see. We got him looking like Caesar Borgia and shit in that robe. And then ask yourselves, what kind of man wields power in a land like this? What, what, what are they doing? There's a saying out here. They better not be doing no choose the ball and you will join me and choose the sword, you'll join your mother in death. For the world to know. Other way around, actually. That is a heart a man must keep hidden if he wants to survive. You'll understand soon, English. English. <laughs> and who knows? Reminds me of Robin maybe, Hood. Maybe fate brought you here for a reason. Maybe you live long enough to find out what it is. Play your cards right. You live to talk about it. He gonna get with the hot chick, ain't he? Okay. All right. First episode in the bag. Uh, this is gonna be a rough show to watch, ain't it? <laughs> episode one is already in the bag. Now we got episode two. Uh, then we have episode three. Um, so far so good, man. I'm, I'm kind of confused by it, which is, which is fine because I love when you guys, you know, uh, in the comment section, you know, start letting me know things that, you know, I've obviously missed or, you know, may not have just paid attention to at that exact moment or whatever. Uh, so even though I'm not 100% sure what everything is happening, you know, I'm not 100% sure of everything that's happening. Um, I'm digging it, but like I said, it feels like Game of Thrones. It, it kind of does with, uh, you know, a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima that I played on, on PlayStation. So, um, I'm digging it, you know. Got my kimono. Got my headband. Got my katana. So, let's see what we have left for episode four. Now, he's a Dutchman. Let me episode episode four. Episode two. Uh, so, he's a Dutchman, whatever. They was, you know, they push. It's the 1600s. So, it, 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 this is happening, like, what, I guess, you know, right, right, like I said, right, 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 I just, the slaves was like, what, just getting to America or whatever, so, uh, it's very, it's gonna be very interesting to see where this show goes from a historic standpoint, I don't know if this is based off true events or not, uh, but, it is what it is, uh, I don't know, I, like, I don't, I, I don't know who's, who really is the enemy here, you know, uh, but if, if, you know, history of watching television has shown me anything in a show like this and there's one white guy, I guess I'm assuming the white white guy is the guy we're supposed to be rooting for, right? <laughs> Him and whoever else is down. And then there's that awesome looking chick. Oh my God, she was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. Now, I don't know what was going on with that dude with, with, who, who was watching the chick beat off the other dude. That was some strange shit. It, it, it was. And, you know, I wasn't expecting to see no titties, but I, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> like I said, this shit was on FX. They, they, 
See, I don't have regular TV no more. They showing titties on regular TV now? Is that that's how far we've gotten? If so, hey, I'm all for it, man. This, 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 this is the way it's supposed to be. If you don't want to see it, don't watch it. Get rid of your television, right? All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Follow me on Twitter at HRAC Brown, the number eight, TRAC Brown. Do not forget that the PW Hustle is on TikTok at PW Hustle. And if you're on Facebook, join the Hustle Fandom Group, all right? Uh, by the way, Donate to the channel if you want. Donate to the Cash App if you want. Y'all know the deal. Uh, can't wait till the next episode. So I will see y'all for then. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to have my katana with me every episode. As well as my fly ass robe, you know. Peace.